Hey everybody, this is Rick. This is a 2020 Palisade that my wife bought in July of 2019. It did not take me very many times driving the car to realize just how much I despise this idle stop and go feature, also, car, also called auto stop start, where every time you come to a stop, the engine turns off. Um, I just think that's a horrible idea Every time you start a car, the starter draws a tremendous amount of current. That puts stress on the whole electrical system. You're wearing out the starter faster, the battery faster. You're stressing out the alternator more. And every time you put that big of a load on a car, you're also slightly stressing a lot of the computers that are connected to this thing. I like this car so much. It's I was due to get a new car, and I just went out and got a 2024. Palisade and in buying this car the dealer told me there's 34 computers on that thing and I don't need them being stressed out by this silly little feature that turns the engine off every time you brake and I have no idea how much this actually this feature actually saves I can't believe it's very much at all um, but let's say this feature saves 0.1 or 0.2 miles per gallon. So the vehicle in the outside right now is advertised at 24 miles per gallon because it's an all wheel drive car. So let's say it doesn't get 0.1 or 0.2 miles per gallon if I don't turn that engine off every time I go to brake. So when I'm driving it, it's only getting 23.8 miles per gallon. Is 23.8 miles per gallon a big enough difference that's going to make me not buy the car? Absolutely not. Um, I just think this is a an idea that has gone horribly, horribly wrong. And um, I found a way to eliminate it. In 2020, there weren't any type of aftermarket devices that would allow me to keep this permanently turned off on the Hyundais and the Kias. So I kept thinking, how can I defeat this? And I'm gonna tell you what I did in a few minutes. I did this to this car four years and 11 months ago on our 2020 and I've never removed it. I can remove it. We've had no issues with the car at all, certainly not because of this. And I can't see how it could do any harm at all. But I have to say in this day and age, what I'm going to suggest to you, you do at your own risk. I'm not an automotive engineer. I'm not a trained automotive tech. I'm just a guy that's blessed with real good troubleshooting skills. And when I come across something that I think I can make it better or fix a problem that I have, God normally puts some pretty unique ideas in my head and I'm ever to figure out a solution. And that's what a whole lot of my videos online are all about is figuring out solutions to problems that I had. So let me get this new car out to a parking lot where I can show you what I did. All right, I wanna explain what this is for those that might not know what it's all about. Um, this is the auto stop start on a Hyundai. If that light is off, when you come to a stop, the engine will turn off, all right? Engine's warmed up, drive it, RPMs are on the right, engine shut off. As soon as I start moving, turns the engine on, move a little bit, engine turns off. That's just tons of wear and tear on your car. Absolutely horrible. All right, now I can turn this light on. Light on engine will stay on you see the engine already come up rpms are up rpms is our revolutions per minute the engine is turning i drive come to a stop engine stays on i drive come to a stop engine stays on okay that will happen as long as the car is not turned off as soon as I go and park and turn the car off, that is going to go away and default back to normal. So remember, light on engine stays 
on. All right, so now I'm gonna go to park. That light is still on. Turn the car off. And even though the car is off, a lot of times, a lot of the electronics don't completely shut off until you open the door. Close the door. Start the car back up. That light is back to its default state of off. Go to drive. Drive. Come to a stop. Engine shuts down. All right. So every time you get in and out of the car, you have to push that button to keep the engine working. All right. So this is what I figured out. If I can keep that switch physically pushed down forever, that light bulb will never go off and the engine will no longer turn off when we come to a stop. So I found something I can wedge in there. I just took an old gift card that's cut up and I'm gonna wedge it in here with just enough, I found a thickness that works for me that fits between here and here that will stop that button from coming back up. That's all I'm gonna do. Now, when I do this, all right, I've gotta push the button down and do that. And you see how the button stays depressed. However, light is off means the engine's gonna turn off. So when you do this, you've gotta make sure that light is on as you put this in place, okay? So now, I haven't even turned the car off. Come to a stop. Engine stays running. Come to a stop, just like normal. Engine stays running. Okay, that light is on. Go to park. Turn the car off. Open the door to shut down all the electronics. Shut the door. Turn the car back on. Now, that light is still on because that button is still depressed. Put it in drive. Come to a stop. Engine stays on. That's the fix that I figured out a long time ago. And that has been a blessing for us in the other Palisade and as you can see, it works in this Palisade. Now, a couple things to know about with this is, I cannot jam it against another one of these buttons because they're push buttons, and if I push them down, it might wiggle this. So, right now, this is the place that I found that works for me. It's just enough pressure to keep that switch pushed down. You can see by the raised area here, it's pushed down. Um, from here, now that I've shown you this, I will take this and cut this down so it's nice and flush. I might even paint the edge of this black. And once it's in there, you'll never know it. You'll never see it. All right, so I'm editing this in. It's in place. I've cut it down to size, made it nice and flush, painted it with a black paint pen um, down the lip and also down all the sides a little bit. I let that dry overnight, put it in place, and back in the same position that I'm had it all the time in the video, you'll never even know it's there. This has worked out fantastic. And another part of this is, if you ever decide for any reason you don't want that there, all you have to do is take it out, and you're back to normal. That will shut the engine off when you brake that'll keep it on. So if you decide one day you don't like it, you just simply take this out. But again, when you put it in, see I pushed it, the light is off. I don't want to push with the light off. I want it pushed with the light on. Wedge it in there and go. This is my wife's 2020 Palisade. And this is what I did on her car four years and 11 months ago. On hers, this is a blank plate. This is not a push button switch, so I just wedged it right against here. On my car, this is a push button, so I wedged it over here against this piece. And this is, I was looking for something in a hurry to see if it worked. 
And this is just actually the backing off a three by five notepad. That's worked perfectly in her car. Um, it's never come out. I can't take it out. I've never needed to come out. It works exactly like I described in the rest of this video. I've always intended to pull that out and paint that black so it just disappears altogether. And I think I'll do that right now. Now, these days, it looks like they do sell an aftermarket electronic box that will do that for you. And on some vehicles, this might not work. So that box is out there as an option. You have to um, buy it, take this console cover off, and it's a box that connects between here and the computer on your car. However, if this works for you, it's free. It's removable. You don't have to remove your console. You don't have to buy an aftermarket device and connect that between that switch and your car. And just personally, with how technical these cars are these days, and with all the computers on it and the way they all talk to each other, I would be very apprehensive about connecting any aftermarket device to a car that's been made within the last 20 years. Um, sometimes they just do not play well together. I know this works on the 2020 and the 2024 Palisade, so it's gonna probably work on everyone in between. Um, I have to imagine it would work on other Hyundais, and I also have to believe it probably would work on Kias and possibly Genesis cars because they're all sisters to each other. Please leave me a comment if you try this. Tell me what your car year, make, and model is and whether it works or it doesn't work. What I'm going to do is add those cars in my written descriptions right below my video and all that wording and I'll keep that updated with what you guys tell us works and does not work. So everyone else that comes and looks at this video down the road will have an idea of other cars right off the bat that this might or might not work in. I have a lot of other helpful video videos on a lot of other subjects. These are going to pop up in the four corners here at the end of this video. Those are links to my videos on different playlists that I have. Uh, be great if you check them out and on all of them, you know, you click the thumbs up, the like button and the subscribe button and that helps me out. And you can also click on the Rick's Tidbits wording on the corner, and that will take you straight to my homepage. Um, I thank you for watching. Have a great day. God bless.